Today we are learning how to solve word problems involving comparisons, part two. Let's start with this problem. Alex has four soccer balls. Martha has five more soccer balls than Alex. How many soccer balls does Martha have? Think about this problem for a second before we move forward. In this problem, we'll start by looking at Alex. He has four soccer balls, which we could draw right here. These are Alex's four soccer balls. Then the problem tells us, Martha has five more soccer balls than Alex. So let's think about Martha's soccer balls. We could start adding soccer balls one, two, three, four. Notice that now Alex and Martha have the same number of soccer balls. But that's not what the problem tells us. The problem tells us that Martha has five more soccer balls than Alex. So Martha doesn't have this many. She has an additional five more. Well, let's add those. She has one more, two more, three more, four more, five more soccer balls. Great. These are all of Martha's soccer balls. Now the problem asks us, how many soccer balls does Martha have? So we need to count up all of these soccer balls. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can see that Martha has 9 soccer balls. Now let's practice one of these together. Liam has $3. Jeff has $8 more than Liam. How much money does Jeff have? Again, think about this problem before we get started. In this problem, how much money does Liam have? The problem tells us Liam has $3. This is Liam's $3. Now, which of these statements is true about Jeff? The problem tells us Jeff has $8 more than Liam. So we can think to ourselves, this is what it would look like if Liam and Jeff had the same amount, but Jeff has $8 more. Well, let's add those in. Here are eight more of Jeff's dollars. Now, the problem asks us, how much money does Jeff have? So we will need to count up all of Jeff's dollars. How much money does Jeff have? We can count he has one dollar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars. We can see that Jeff has eleven dollars. Now it's time for you to practice one of these on your own. Solve this problem on your own. Maggie has five apples. Eli has three more apples than Maggie. How many apples does Eli have? In this problem, we start with Maggie, who has five apples. Then we can look at Eli. Eli has three more apples than Maggie. So here's Eli. We start by giving him the same amount as Maggie, but then we have to give him three more. Well, we could add in those one, two, three more apples. Then, to find out how many apples Eli has, We'll count up all of his apples. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apples in total. We would say Eli has eight apples. Today you learned how to solve word problems involving comparisons.